financial statements for our corporation. So uh, this chapter, I think, has, has three sections. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the ownership of the corporation first. And then we're going to be talking about the actual financial statements, which is the income statement and the statement of retained earnings, balance sheet, and uh, statement of cash flow. Okay, so this is going to be a, a long chapter, by the way. It's going to probably take us a couple of weeks. Now, the first section is going to be talking about the ownership of the corporation. Okay, we have who's owning the company. If it's a, if it's a corporation, that means the stockholders are involved. So whenever you buy stocks on the stock market from, from a, you know, uh, from any company, you're, you're going to be part owner of that company. Even if it's a small percentage, it's okay, but it's, you're still considered to be a part owner. Uh, we're going to be talking about something called retained earnings. You know, that's uh, the profit that you keep in the business that you don't distribute to your uh, stockholders or anyone else. So you keep it, you could use it, or you keep it as a safe uh, guard for any cash problems. We're going to be talking about uh, you know, uh, reliabilities and uh, all those things that relate to a corporation. Uh, section two, we're going to be talking about something called the income statement, which is probably you already know about it. Um, we, we mentioned it before, so we took it before, so now we're going to do it as a, in a, corp, a corporation. Corporation, we're going to involve more than just revenue and uh, expenses, so we're going to add to this um, uh, table or this, uh, this statement, for example, here you can see there's revenue, there's cost of goods that we sold. Uh, we're going to talk about the uh, gross profit, for example. Then we're going to still add expense at the end of it. So it's going to be a longer, so you could see it, how, how big is it. Uh, before that, term one was a small, uh, we had a small income statement. Now we have a big income statement because involved as a corporation involves more than one thing. Now, the next section is going to be about uh, the other uh, statements, which are the retained earnings, the balance sheet, the cash uh, flow. Cash flow is going to be uh, just a minimum uh, talk about it because we have a, a whole chapter about cash flow, so we're not going to mention too much about it. So we're going to be talking about something called the retained earnings, okay? Something similar to what we, you know, the, the, the change in capital. And then we're going to be talking about the balance sheet, which is the easiest one because we just need to copy numbers from all the work that you did, the income statement, the retained earnings, and numbers that we need from there. We could just move to the balance sheet, and that will be it. And like I said, you know, the cash flow statement is going to be uh, mentioned in, in, in a, a, a you know small content. Um, but uh, this, by the way, this is your uh, balance sheet, so you could compare. Uh, this year from last year, and that's a good that's good for comparison. If you want to do analysis, for example, uh, th this is the cash flow. Cash flow. We're going to be talking about how much cash did we get in, how much cash we we, we it came out. So, um, like I said, it's a couple of pages. I think that's it, and uh, that will be the whole chapter, by the way. Okay, but you know, uh, we're going to probably take take two weeks at least uh, to finish it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye bye.